You know what gets me chippy? I'm arguing with my girlfriend about how when we go on vacation, I have the heavier luggage. Not because I pack more, oh god no. For a four day vacation, I have four different outfits, something to sleep in, a pair of shoes that I'm already wearing on my feet, and maybe some flip flops. She has four different outfits for, for breakfast, four different outfits for lunch, four different outfits for dinner, four different outfits for going to sleep, four different bathing suits for going to the beach, eight different pairs of shoes because you don't know which ones is going to match with which outfit, sandals, slippers, blow dryer, makeup, you name it, it's in that bag, but mine is heavier just because I happen to be six foot one and she happens to be five foot three. That gets me a little bit chippy too, but her response is, well, you know, we're women, so we have to carry a baby for nine months. Now that really guts me goddamn chippy, and here's why. First off, you're not pregnant, thank God, so you don't know what you're talking about. Secondly, all right, let's say you were pregnant. You carry the baby around for nine months, and you give birth. Okay, fine, that really hurts, but that's nine months of your life. I'm carrying around heavy bags with my own clothes for the rest of my life. And then after you give birth and the baby falls out of your stomach, who's going to be carrying it? Dear old dad. And the kid is going to be wiggling around and kicking and screaming and waving his head back and forth. And I have to make sure that I don't drop it or I'll be a bad father. When the baby is in the womb, there is zero chance that it's just going to fall out one day because you weren't paying attention. It's not going to wiggle and it may kick a little bit, but when it kicks in your womb, everyone thinks it's cute. When it kicks me in the teeth, Everyone thinks it's funny, except me, when I'm missing teeth. Meanwhile, the kid gets a little bit older, and I'm still carrying the baby while you're ha pushing around the stroller, which is on wheels, which is a lot more convenient than fighting off a kid who doesn't want to be picked up, but can't be put down because mommy had to put the bags in the stroller, and it's not ready for the baby yet. But then when the baby goes in the stroller, you know who's pushing it? Mommy dearest. And that's wrong, and that gets me chippy.